points of performance and standards of the double kettlebell squat inside of Sticker Week, we're going to have two main points, right? So the first one is going to be depth of squat, and we can use any variation of yoga blocks to give ourselves reminders, and we can use a partner or an instructor to help us find a range of motion, depending on our squat ability. When we say depth, the crease of your hip must pass the crease of your knee. So my hip crease has to go below my knee crease, right? That's my depth. So I am, I maybe need, okay, it's still a little too low. Okay, you tell me, is that right? Too high? Good, right? So contact and stand back up. So we can use any combination of yoga blocks to find that depth. We'll go through it as a team and we'll find that range. That way when you get into your squats, all you gotta do it's getting a position, and you're like, I feel it, good, okay? It's not a resting thing, but you'll have that contact. You can also use the med balls, just clarify with the instructor that that's the right range of motion. Now, second thing, kettlebells. The reason we do not do barbell back squats and then we favor the kettlebell front squats is a full body exercise. Saying that, your elbow needs to be underneath your wrist and the bell's racked in that position. So you clean your own bells, right? And then my elbows stay underneath me. If my elbows get away from my face or on my shoulder, I am now not doing the exercise. I'm doing something else. So my elbows need to be in front of my body and underneath my hands, and ideally my hands as close together as possible, okay, so that I'm underneath, not out and away, because this is a core and leg exercise. So, Clean your bells, find your depth, elbows underneath, not elbows away for that high quality green light exercise.